Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to configure server load balancing. So guys, this is our lab topology and we have all these components ready. And we have three web servers which comes under the web server pool. We have one client machine and of course we have deployed big IP. So just to recall in short, let me show you over here. This is our web server one. And in web server 1, we have IP address 10.1.1.10, .1 .1 uh, subnet mask 255.255.255.0 with the default gateway 10.1.1.100. Then on this particular server, if you remember, we have configured the web server and this is the basically your page looks like. Then coming to web server 2. We'll see we have a server IP address 10.1.1.15 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 10.1.1.100 and the web server configuration which we did on this particular server is this. Just to identify uh, on web server 1 we have set server 1 on web server 2 we have set server 3. Why we have done this usually in the live environment it will be a symmetric page. But for us to understand that how the traffic uh, is load balanced between server 1, server 2 and server 3, how you will come to know for that purpose basically we have given a name for our understanding. But in real environment the name will be, uh, sorry, the page content will be symmetric because it is not possible that the your web server will change. So for our understanding, uh, for us to identify yes the load balancing is done perfectly, the traffic is moving from server 1 to server 2 to server 3, that is the reason we have added this thing server 1 then in web server 2 we have said server 2 and coming to the web server 3, uh, the IP address is 10.1.1.20 slash 24 with the default gateway 10.1.1.100 and the ser uh, web server configuration is this, the page content will look like this. Uh, with the name server 3 on the top to identify it. Then these three things we have com completed. Now over here uh, we have a client machine. If you will just go to the client machine over here, you will see the IP address is 172.16.1.15/24 with the default gateway 172.16.1.100. So these things are what we have done till now. We have created three web server and then we have uh, created one client machine in our VMware workstation, we have deployed big IP and we have activated the licenses and all. Now in this lab as we have discussed that we will be doing the load balancing configuration over here. So we will proceed with the load balancing configuration. So guys to do the server load balancing in F5, big IP F5, steps which you are going to follow are these steps. So the steps to implement server load balancing step number one is to add the nodes that is you have to add the server devices to your f5 big ip appliance step two will be create a new server pool with nodes you added in step one step three will be to create new virtual server with server pool you created in step two and step number four will be that we will be initi initiating a connection through virtual server ip and we will check the output so this is the reason I have added the previous tutorial where I have explained what is node, what is pool, what is virtual server, each and everything is explained over there in detail. What is pool member? The reason is this only. If you will have an idea about this terminology, you will be able to easily proceed further. So let's begin with the configuration. We will just log into our F5 Big IP appliance. So guys, we will begin with our step number one. The step number one is to add the nodes that is the server devices to F5 Big IP appliance, right? And what are the IP address of our nodes or web server? 10.1.1.10, 10.1.1.15, 10.1.1.20, right? So this is our dashboard of F5 Big IP when we have taken the access. 
what you have to do on the left pane over here you will find an option local traffic click over here and over here you will find an option nodes Just click over here and we will start to create the nodes one by one click on create button over here will give the name web server 1 the address will be 10.1.1.10 10.1.1.10 rest all thing keep it as default and click on finish button similarly we will create a web server 2 node 2 IP address will be 10.1.1.15 click on finish button and let's add the third node which is web server and give the IP address click on finish button so guys over here we are done with the step number one the step number one is add nodes that is server devices to f5 big ip appliance let's move to step number two where we are going to create a new server pool so again the local traffic from the left pane you, over here you will find an option called pools click on pools over here and click on create button to create a pool over here we will give the name web server pool let's monitor we are going to monitor http traffic and the important thing is that if you are monitoring the http traffic the http port should be open on the web server as well and basically what we have done is we have opened the http port we have uh, configured our web server over http right we have binded to port 80 over there in the initial configuration in the starting tutorials so click on http over here and just put it over here Then the load balancing method for now we will go with the default uh, option round robin uh, over here you will find so many options round robin ratio least connection so on guys one by one we are going to understand each and every load balancing method and we will be performing the hands-on lab on each and every load balancing method but for now we will go with the default option that is round robin which is already available to us okay now over here Parity group activation everything you will give default uh, talking about the new members as uh, we have seen that is step number two to create new server pool with the nodes you added in step one so in the web server pool we are going to add the nodes which we have created in step number one so let's add this if you will just click over here you will see all the three nodes are available which you created let's add one by one service port will be 80 as soon as you put 80 it will become http click on add button over here you have added node 1 now we are going to add node 2 click on add button similarly we will add node 3 click on add button we have added all the nodes in the web server pool so basically we have created a web server pool using the nodes click on finish So we have completed the step number two as well where we have created a web server pool step number three is to create a new virtual server with server pool you created in step two let's move further and we will create a virtual server again in the left pane under local traffic you will find the option virtual server click on virtual server over here and we will create a new virtual server let's give the name virtual web server and then coming down type let's keep the type standard for another default one source head address will leave it blank which means that any source address will be allowed the destination address so guys over here the destination address will be the virtual server ip address and as per our network design the virtual ip for the server pool will be 172.16.1.150 right so let's put this ip address over here virtual server ip address 
172.16.1.150 over here. After uh, adding this virtual server IP address, uh, we have to define the service port, which is going to be port 80. And this will be HTTP. First all things, keep it as default. And over here, when you will scroll down, you have to define the web server pool. Uh, over here, you will see default pool. So uh, just select the pool which we have created, which is a web server pool in step number two. Right? And finally, click on finish button. Now we have completed step number one, step number two, step number three. Now it's a time to initiate a connection from the client machine and check the output. So how you will check the output? I will show you that as well. Over here, just go to statistics and then click on model statistics. Over here, you will find the option local traffic. Click over here on the local traffic. And from the statistic type over here, just click on pools. And you will find uh, the pool which you have created. Just click on this plus button and it will show you all the three nodes. Now it's a time to initiate a connection from the client machine. So let's open the client machine over here and we are going to init uh, initiate a connection from here. So guys, we are into the client machine whose IP address is 172.16.1.15 with the default gateway 172.16.1.100. Uh, let's open the browser over here. And we are going to type the virtual server IP address 172.16.1.150. And you can see now the traffic is heading to server 2. Let's refresh. It's going to server 1. It's going to... server 3 and so on. Uh, another way is like instead of this we can just have the domain also. Uh, let's go to C Windows System32 and let's edit the etc file host file under etc. We'll just copy it over here. And we will add 172.16.1.150. We will map it to noornetworks.com. And let's save it. We will just uh, copy it over and replace the file. Basically, we are just mapping the IP address with the domain name locally. Let's open the browser in the client machine and we will just try to browse with domain name and you can see over here uh, the site is reaching to server 2 let's refresh the page server 1 server 1 Server 3, so guys basically you can see the server load balancing is working now it's going to server 2 so using a uh, load balancing method the traffic is going to server 1, server 2 and server 3. Let's check the statistics over here, just refresh it and expand this, you will see basically total 20 connections were initiated the seven connections uh, hit web server 1 seven connections hit web server 2 and the sixth connection has hit to web server 3 from the client machine so this is how basically server load balancing works guys that's all in this tutorial so there are lots of method which we have to discuss and we will be configuring them one by one of course 
If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it now and do share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.